Okay, the first home we're seeing is over here in Henderson, off horizon in this fabulous modern contemporary neighborhood here. And this guy has some really cool features. So we're gonna go check it out. It's a four bedroom home with what, Judy, three bathrooms? Three full baths and one half. And um, two car garage. So that as you come in here, you have like a little courtyard um, that's open. And then off to the left here, this is the casita. So we've got a nice little space here. And it has a uh, bath right in here, full bath. And a closet, just a regular size closet here. So not too fancy, but definitely nice to have this uh, casita. Yeah, definitely roomy. I mean, there's a couch there. It's a Looks like a full-size bed. And that's right off the front door, so mm -hmm. that uh, they had their own little separate entrance here. And then they've made one of the garages, got the epoxy on the floors, into a gym. So this is a gym. This is one of the garages. They are separated. There's access to the back over there. We'll actually go check out the house here. Interesting little courtyard there with those pretty windows and balcony up there. So beautiful open floor plan as we come into the house here with a view of the pool. Love that island. Now the appliances, are they coming with? Yes, everything's included in, um, except the washer and dryer. Okay. So everything in the kitchen included, but not washer and dryer. Pretty lighting there. Looks like, uh, well, that's micro and oven. Cooktop here. Pantry. Good size pantry. I love the color of the cabinet. Yeah. And Isn't that warm feeling? They go all the way up there, so there's nice high cabinets. You have the farm kitchen sink, and then the dishwasher. Yeah. Very nice. This is the view here from the kitchen, looking out to the living room. You got all those nice big windows there to look out to the pool, or actually sliders. Let's go out to the pool. Let's venture out there and check it out. Okay, so pool and jacuzzi right here. Both heated. Both heated, yes. So not a huge pool, but still nice for the uh, size of the backyard right here. Looks like they've got a TV. Not sure if that's included, but yeah, they've put a TV out here. Got the barbecue over here. Um, you've got two ACs. You've got your pool equipment over here. And here's a better view of the uh, backyard area. Of course, they've set up the chairs and fire, uh, fire pit right here. Very nice. A little bit of landscaping right here. Of course, that view is really nice of the mountain. I think they have speakers installed out there too. Oh, they sure do. Another one over here. So they have another little patio area on this side where they've set up some chairs. So this is a little covered patio spot. You don't wanna fall in the pool. Why not? <laughs> it's a little too cold right now for that. Eat it. And then you've got a uh, little dog run area down here. So very nice. Again, not huge backyard space, but uh, they've done a nice job with it. Coming back in, take a look at those pretty floors here. And that's actually dining room space over there. The window, that's the view of the courtyard. And then we're gonna wander on over here. Kind of a separate little den area here that they've made into an office right off the living room 
And this is a little interesting over here. That's pretty neat. So this is actually a previous wine room and they actually turned it into a little exercise space. Put a little TV in there. So the air conditioner and the venting system is for the uh, wine room. So pretty cool. So upstairs here and what do we got over here? Half bath? Yeah. Yes. Half bath over here and storage under the stairs. Yeah, it feels pretty deep in there too. So yeah, it does. Space for storage. Yeah, I think there's a little space over there too. They've got some things. So yeah, it's a coat closet and storage space. It's pretty nice. All right, so up the stairs we go here. There's three bedrooms up here, total of four bedrooms with that casita. And they've got a nice size loft up here with a balcony right off the loft. Kind of a little cabinet space. You can make that into a bar if you yeah. wanted to. Nice little ceiling fan. And we'll check out the uh, master bedroom, which happens to be huge. Yes. Very, very good size. They got a fireplace over there. What I think it's double sided. It is double sided. I don't think they have it no. uh, in use, but it's there. So here's a, another look at the master with the slider out to a balcony over there. And you've got some really nice views from here. So much light in this house. Huge bathtub. It's a pretty window above that. And then you've got uh, double sinks over here. One on one side and one on the other. Got the shower over here. Double seat. Mr. Mary in here and then your closet. I love the light fixtures in this house. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, there is a lot of really, really pretty. Really nice. Even, yeah. Even in the toilet area. Yeah, just some really added extra touches that they've done here. Mm -hmm. Really, really makes it nice. So this is the master bathroom here. Let me just get one more peek of that closet. I think I kind of breezed over it a little too quickly but it is a really good space in here they even have this area for shoes so good size closet the fireplace and uh, balcony is over here just a small little balcony right here nothing fancy but just enough space to kind of step also out a balcony in the loft area Balcony in the loft area yeah, as we came they, up right here. They have the couch right, right the there. Two exits. Another balcony. And then down here from the master, uh, this closet I think is locked. Oh, no, it's not. It's linens. Okay. And what is this one? Another linen. More linens. More linens. Okay. Laundry room area here. These are not included cabinets in here. Do you have a utility sink, which is great. And then behind you, you have more cabinet space. At least you need clothes. So nice, nice laundry space here. Love all these little windows going down the hallway. And uh, another bedroom here, which is really nice size. Ceiling fan, which is always good in Vegas to have that. We kind of walk in. Nice space in there for that. And then the bathroom kind of shares itself with the common bathroom, but they have its own separate sink on this side. You kind of share this right here, which is a uh, tub shower combo and toilet. One more sink, which is shared as a common 
bathroom right here, which is just off the loft area. I think that's pretty cool. It is, yeah. So that uh, bedroom adjoins over there to the bath and uh, comes out over here to the loft. And then uh, last bedroom over here, another good size bedroom. Two windows up there, another ceiling fan. And this one also has its own balcony, which looks out to all those pretty houses. And this is walk-in closet. Walk -in closet. Now, does that, I think that goes into the bathroom. I think so. So you have access to this bathroom. Boy, they've really made this functional from this room right here. Right? So both bathrooms here, this, or, excuse me, both bedrooms have access to the bath right from the rooms. So it, it's a Jack and Jill, and then it shares as a common bathroom as well. Should we look at the best part of the home? Yeah, this is really a super cool feature of yeah. this home. And uh, this is very hard to find. These homes with these rooftop decks go very quickly because there's not a lot of them. We actually sold one here that didn't have one. Yes. So this is you know, unique. So you gotta grab it. Extra, extra bonus feature, rooftop deck with the view, I know you can't see it from here, but it's a view of the entire strip. Mountains, Red Rock, oops, gotta watch for that step. They even got a fireplace out here. It's such a good space for a rooftop deck. And this one is covered. You don't always get covered rooftop deck, but you have the option of covered or over here, which is completely open, but Pretty much almost a 360 view right yeah, here. Yeah, here too if you want to set up your barbecue area. Yep, they sure do. So wow, what a great feature of this house. I mean, it has it all. It's modern contemporary. I um, think it would be a great uh, investment home, great owner-occupant home. And you've also got like another separate area here, which they're using as another office space right here. So very functional. And uh, this home, what is it priced at? Seven four nine nine. Seven four nine nine. And you get a lot for that seven four nine nine, as you saw. HOA is quarterly, and that's two hundred and sixteen dollars a quarter. Two sixteen a quarter. Yes. Okay. Is there another HOA, or is that just it? It looks. It shows as one. Okay. Just making sure. And then one last peek here. We'll go down the stairs and look at uh, the living room coming down the stairs, just to give you an idea how that all looks. But what a great home, great location, has the pool, rooftop deck, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, two car garage, super, super nice.